Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Mike and you're watching Triple T Acres and we are gonna be putting something on the front of my tractor that's not supposed to go on a tractor. Let me show you what we got. This is a skid steer post hole digger or hydraulic auger that's supposed to go on a skid steer that has a much higher gallons per minute flow rate. And a tractor has a much lower gallons per minute flow rate. So I'm not even sure if this is gonna work, but I really wanna find out. I've looked all over the internet and I can't find anything on it. But before we get this thing connected, I've gotta adapt over my Pioneer fittings to some flat faced hydraulic skid steer connections so that this will even work. So I've got the adapter, I'm gonna show you that. We're gonna get this thing all connected and see if it works on the tractor, so stick around. All right, so right now I've got the grapple on the front. And the only way we're gonna be able to even do this is I have a third function hydraulic connection on the front. Now, you may be saying, well, you don't have enough gallons per minute flow rate for that tractor. A skid steer has a much higher flow rate. And I agree with you, this is a much lower flow rate, but I'm not worried about the speed of the auger. I'm really worried about if it'll just spin and if there's enough PSI to spin that thing. So this will give you an idea on whether you should purchase just a tractor one or if you can rent one from your local equipment dealership or equipment rental facility. So let's get this thing taken off. And again, I've got to adapt up my Pioneer fittings that's on the front of my tractor because we got to get those down to the flat face skid steer connections to make it even work. I really hope that this works. Now this is gonna work obviously if you have a skid steer quick attach on the front of your tractor. Luckily LS comes with that pretty standard and most tractors are coming standard with the skid steer quick attach. Now you John Deere guys, I think you're out of luck with this. You might be able to rent a auger that's John Deere connections. Now the specs on this skid steer auger, I'm not sure what the minimum flow rate is on it. Again, I'm not too worried about that. I just really needed to, I just need to spin and actually dig. But the weight of this thing is 800 pounds. And with this LS tractor, my lift capacity is around 2100 and some change at the pins. So I should be okay with lifting this. Now I gotta be careful lifting this thing up because that auger is gonna wanna swing and I definitely do not wanna hit my truck. Yeah, we have no problem lifting this thing up at all. Yeah, height was my other concern. But it looks like we're gonna be okay as far as height. All right, let's go get these fittings adapted back to the flat face. All right, so if you wanna connect these, you definitely need to adapt up to a flat face fitting. And what I have here, and this is just one of the sides, is I have a Pioneer fitting on this side and a flat face on this side. That's the only way you can get these two connected. So I'm gonna get this connected and then we're gonna see if this thing works. All right, this is the moment of truth, whether this is gonna work or not. And I haven't even done this yet. This is gonna be the first time we're both gonna do this together. And I did wanna mention that if you wanna get these fittings for your tractor, I'll put a link down in the description because I got these off Amazon and they seem pretty nice. Man, I hope it works. All right, moment of truth. Let's idle up, give us some flow here. So I know it'll spin. Now, people told me that it would not spin very fast. To me, that spins plenty. Now, I haven't dug in a hole yet. We're gonna go over here in just a second and give it a test hole. But that looks like plenty fast enough. Obviously, we're gonna see here in a second. And the main reason why I even did this is because I had a friend reach out to me recently and he's getting ready to put a fence in. He said, hey man, can you give me a hand? And I said, yeah, I borrow a three point post hole digger for the back of my tractor and give it a try. And then I started thinking, I'm like, man, why not see if a skid steer quick attach will work? Uh, I didn't feel like going out and purchasing a, a tractor version of this. Um, and I always wanted to know anyway. So luckily a friend of mine owns this. Thank you very much. You know who you are who loaned this to me. 
Uh, hopefully this will work. We're gonna go do a test hole right now. Now I don't wanna count my chickens before they hatch. I haven't dug a hole yet and I wanted to do this before I go over to his house and start this whole fence row. Cause I hated to take this thing there and count on having a machine that works and it not. Now this is gonna be a good test because I'm back in the woods. It hasn't rained in a long time. The ground should be really, really solid. The benefits of being able to put this on the front of my tractor is the down pressure. If you use a three point post hole digger, it only uses the gravity on the back of it. So the weight of the auger itself. This I'm able to actually put a little bit of down pressure, especially when I have some really hard soil. Another thing is, is you can actually screw those things down in the ground and then you have to lift them out. Sometimes your tractor is not strong enough to pull them out of the ground. With these front mounted hydraulics, I can go in either direction with that auger. So I can actually back it out of the hole if I have to. So let's throttle up here. Let's see if we can dig in the ground. I might get into some roots. I might get into some rocks. Another thing is I don't have to break my neck turning around to see if I can even see what I'm doing. For the most part, I can see what's going on in front of me. My speed is not that fast. But it looks like we're digging. This is really, really hard ground. It's definitely slower than what you want. But I'm going in the ground. And I've got down pressure. Like I said, this is really, really hard soil. See what we got here all right so we answered the question can you run a skid steer post hole digger on the front of a tractor yes you can is it super practical maybe not if you've got to do a bunch of holes and i don't know this was really really hard dirt and it did a pretty good job now the auger ran really slow but as, as you can see we got a good hole here and again this is a 12 inch auger on the front of a tractor with really low flow hydraulics so i was able to spin it forward and spin it backwards and use down pressure. That is the, the key thing with this. Uh, just lack of experience, I had to get the hole cleaned out a little bit afterwards, knowing that you can pull away from the hole, shake the stuff off, and then go back in the hole and keep it cleaned out. I've even seen guys kick dirt back into the hole, use the auger to dig that out and set it aside. So yeah, I would say we have a success on using the skid steer auger on the front of a tractor. All right, so now that we know that this thing works, I'm gonna kick the dirt back into this hole because I definitely don't want this thing here. Uh, but I know that it's gonna work. I'm gonna call my friend up and tell him that, hey, we are good to go to dig all those holes for your fence. So guys, if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. But until next time, we'll see you in the next video.